Hi, I'm Mark Wilbright. Welcome again to the Greenwall Mojo blog. Today's a quick one. I'm just trying to showcase a simple um, but interesting fact, and that's that there's a lot of plant material that will grow very well in one of our living retaining walls. Well, in, in any of the living retaining walls that, uh, that might be out there in the world, actually. And I make a big deal out of microclimate assessment and expectation assessment of the owner. A lot of times for me, a living wall is a wall that's totally grown over, and so whatever the structural elements are behind the plants are sheltered from the sun, and therefore you get some heat island moderation, which fits within the lead uh, guidelines. But we've got a few examples where some uh, perennial growers, primarily sedum growers for the green roof industry, had some test walls, and they let specifiers walk the wall and pick the sedum that they want for their green roof based on its actual growth habit. The pictures I'm going to show showcase that some things are going to grow over a wall and give you heat moderation, and some are going to be successfully grown, but they're not going to give you heat island moderation. See for yourself. They're beautiful examples, and it illustrates a pretty important point. Take care, and give us your comments. See you. So several years back, Ed Snodgrass and John Shepley at Emory Knoll Farms outside of Baltimore got this great idea of using a living wall system, a living retaining wall system, to showcase sedum for a living roof or green roof system. So we furnished them the blocks and their workers built this nice wall and then they planted it for display purposes with a wide variety of sedum, maybe 30 to 50 different species. And you can see as you go laterally along the wall, from top to bottom, there's the same species growing. So architects and specifiers can walk along this wall and select the green roof sedum that they'd like to have based on the way it looks when it's mature and uh, they can view the growth habit. So it's beautiful, but it's also very functional and it serves another purpose for us and it gives you or gives us an opportunity to point out that uh, there are lots of plants that are going to be successful in a wall and create habitat and and runoff water absorption and also those that are going to have larger growth habits that are going to cover the modules and give us heat island moderation and here in in uh, their more mature forms you can see exactly which ones are going to give you what you want uh, so it's a great tool now, uh, we've got some close-ups here, and some of these flower, some of these don't. I mean, there's just a wide variety of plants, and I love looking at these. Now, this is a, a series of walls at Saul Brothers Nursery in Atlanta. Same type of thing. Now, this one's a good one because you can really see the difference from a, a spring application to the same wall later in the summer, and you can get a look at the, the growth habit there. You can really make a wise decision with a wall like this as a tool. Thank you.